Good morning. Let's pray through Psalm 23 together this morning. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Heavenly Father. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for a brand new day. We all come before you today together and thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Your mercies are new every morning. We step out into your new mercy, just like we're stepping out into the sun. We feel it warm on our skin. We feel it on our heads and on our backs and on our eyes. We look to the heavens and we look to you. And a smile comes on our face and a smile comes on our heart and a smile comes to our spirit because we feel at home with you, Lord. We feel your love. We're grateful for your love, Lord. Lord, this morning we're looking to Psalm 23. And we echo this Psalm of David, this song, this poem, this poetry that bursts out from his heart. It, it echoes, it resonates in our spirit as well, Father. It's like we could have written it ourselves. Lord, you are our shepherd. Jesus, you are my shepherd. You are my Lord. I shall not be in want. I don't need anything else. I don't have to long for anything else because you're my shepherd and Lord. You take care of all of my needs. Lord, you make me lie down in green pastures. You give me green pastures. You give me a peaceful place to sleep, a peaceful place to rest, a peaceful place to live. It's lush. I'm provided for everything I need to eat and sleep and live and be. It's all provided for. You are our portion. You lead me beside quiet waters. God, you're so peaceful. We march along, we walk along, we go throughout our lives at complete peace because you are leading us. We hear the quiet water, we smell the quiet water, we sense the peace of the stream, the joy of the stream, the life of the stream. We're always nourished, we're always refreshed because you lead us in green pastures and quiet waters. You're such a good leader. Thank you, Father, that you restore my soul from the inside out. Lord, you guide me in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. I don't ever have to be afraid that we're going down the wrong path. I can trust you completely. The paths that you take are righteous. They're not scary. They're not dangerous. You are in control. I trust you for the journey. I trust you for the destination. I trust you for all possible outcomes. You guide us for your glory, Lord. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil for you are with us. No matter what happens, God, no matter what happens in life, no matter what circumstances, no matter who comes against us, no matter if there's a lurking fear or a danger, we won't let it affect us. It doesn't have to affect us. We can be unhindered, unbreakable, unaffected because we have you close, living inside of us, 
radiating through our hearts and our minds and our spirits. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. They represent your leadership to me. I see where you're going. I see when you stop. I see when you start. You lead me. You guide me. It's not a surprise. You're not tricking me. Your word is that rod and that staff for me. It lights my path. It guides me, Father. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Whether it be pruning or discipline or guidance or correction, your word, your spirit, it's useful in my life. You train me well. I can trust you. I can trust your correction. I can trust your guidance. I can trust your encouragement because your rod and your staff, they actually bring me comfort to know your leadership of my life, that I'm not alone, that I'm not left to myself to wonder and wander, but I have safe guidance, leadership, godly restriction that actually means freedom, that I don't ruin my life with counterfeit freedom, that leads to destruction and death. Your rod, your staff, your ways, they lead me in peace. They bring me comfort. Lord, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Right there, God, no matter who's there, you provide for me. You give me a place to be nourished, a table that I can sit at and dine with you and not worry about anyone else that might be around, not worry about any other danger. There could be wolves, there could be predators, but we dine with the king. We don't have to be afraid. You give me a spread a feast more than enough. You are my portion. And what you offer me, namely yourself, is more than enough for me. No matter what enemy lurks around, they can't come close to me. They can't affect me. They can't scare me. They can't devour me. They can't harm me because you are with me. I dine with you. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus, I don't have to be self-made. I don't have to hustle and grind and bite and claw and rip and shred and cut and backstab and try and fight my way to the top. No, you are the one who brings people in and brings people out. You give people positions. You anoint my head. You anoint my head with oil. You have a calling on my life. You have a purpose for my life. You pour your spirit out over me and my cup overflows. I have more than enough, all from you. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have everything I need from you and in you. 
no matter where I go. I'm in your love. I'm in your goodness. They follow me all the days of my life. And I'm a son or a daughter of the King of Kings. I'm not outside. I have a place. I have a room. I have your heart. I have your focus. I have a place in your house. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You've made me family. Thank you, Father. Abba, Father. Thank you for adopting us in. Thank you for your leadership, for being the good shepherd. We love you so much. We worship you, God. Give us a greater revelation of your leadership in our lives. Give us the same spirit that that David had, full of love and wonder and elaboration, elaborating our praise to you, God. We just speak it out. We pray that you would tune our hearts to your voice, Lord, and tune our eyes to be able to see and understand what you've done for us, to have the perspective of the truth of everything that you are for us. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's why you need to watch this video right here because a fresh revelation of God's love for you will radically transform how you live, how you think, and how you live unhindered because of His love. So click on this video right now and let's pray together about a fresh revelation of God's love. I'll see you at this video.